Here's another old Stubblefield battery. I've got it wrapped in plastic because it's such, it's so dirty. You can see the two, you can see the probes disappearing and they're connecting to a rather long uh, 30 gauge red wire that's uh, I, I think I took pictures of it last year. Okay, so now there are four, the four, the four wires from the stubble field are just emerging out of this plastic lid, and they're just hanging out over this lit jewel thief business. <clears throat> okay, so now here we go to here, and I see a ring. Can you see a ring? It's not as much voltage as the other one, but I have a feeling uh, well, no, I can tell you that there's something else going on because m my eyes can actually pick up enormous spikes, uh, but they're fast and I can't quite catch them on this, uh, on this, and it, and it doesn't register more than the 38 to 45 millivolts, uh, but I think they're quite a bit higher. And this is just hanging out in the air again. Another old one. This one is made on a plumbing pipe, and so it's quite soft iron. Uh, it's not as long as secondary as the previous one. Um, I've got this already on, connected to the secondary, and there it is again. This is this is um, 7.3 millivolts. Not a lot of millivolts, but still something. And I can spread them out a bit. Sometimes I can make them taller. The frequency is something like 588 kilohertz between those two markers, but can you see how much activity and really extra waves are on those waves? So it's a lot more activity than what it said, what, than the other one. I find when it's like this, somewhere along the way, I'll find a ring. I'll f at some resolution, I might find a ring. So, so this isn't a ring, but uh, it's at a lot lower resolution, a lot, uh, lot more of the wave is visible here. Look at what it's doing. Crazy.